I've asked Ray Kurzweil, I've asked George Church, and now I'm asking you uh, this idea of a longevity um, escape velocity target date. Uh, let me give you a couple of a couple of uh, decades and, and tell me, you know, as a betting man under over, within the next decade, in the second decade, in the third decade. Uh, do you mean escape velocity or the singularity? So when, when we will have the ability to go and get a, uh, a mechanism that will uh, allow us to uh, basically age in place or age in reverse so that we're no longer, you know, if ever you were alive, we're extending our lifespan for more than a year. Well, it's, it's already here. It's just not available widely. Um, it's already here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> At least if you're a mouse. Uh, well, uh, so I'm not, I'm not talking about our therapy. That one is, that's hardcore. That's a rocket versus the Wright brothers. Uh, but there, there are technologies now that, and, and some published papers that- uh, Are you talking are about like rapamycin? Uh, rapamycin and combinations. So Greg Fahey has done good work, uh, continues to do good work on uh, combinations of molecules that have age reversal properties. Um, so I believe that there are already molecules and drugs that you can use to reset your age somewhat not go back to being 30 years old again, if you're my age. Our ability in my lab, and presumably scientists across the world, if they're smart, um, to use AI to answer questions that, that we were not able to. You know, I, I wake up and poor Serena, my partner who's here with me, um, knows that I, I read papers first thing in the morning, uh, usually. And uh, so that is a built real tax on, on my brain, but I can only cover 100 papers in yeah, the morning. 7,000 papers published in the medical yeah. science every right. day. Yeah, it, it, so that alone, the ability to, to synthesize that every day would be great, and it, we're doing that now. But just ability to ask AI how to find the best molecules that can mimic the OSK gene therapy, you can ask AI that, you can get decent answers. So we are going to have exponentially, exponential increases in the pace of this field. So it's not just AI helping us be superhuman. It's also the funding level, the amount of money that has gone into certain companies in this area. Since we published that paper in Nature, uh, there's been investment um, in the billions you're, you're of dollars. Uh, and, uh, and Jeff Bezos, the Hevolution, I was showing him some of the uh, companies earlier that are yeah. capitalized. And, and the reason is, perhaps to state the obvious, is that uh, this is an area that's no longer the backwater of biology. It really it's pharmaceutical development, and those that capture that land uh, will be the dominant industry of this century. Amazing. Um, you know, one of the points I remember in discussion with you and, and George Church was that it's likely that a real rejuvenation uh, uh, therapeutic will, if it works for one tissue and organ, will work for the entire body. That's also lucky, but it's true. Uh, that's what we find in animals. Now, we haven't, I haven't injected myself yet. I'm probably not going to do that for a few years. But in, in mice, uh, I'm shocked that what works in the eye, in the optic nerves, the nerve cells, works in the epithelial cells in the retina, works in the outer layer of cells on the retina, works in the kidney we just published, the muscle. You know, if it works in all those different cell types, um, I think it's a universal process of biology to be able to re be reset. And uh, so that's why I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I think a whole body reset is coming. Yeah. Amazing. One of the things that we talk about on the, yeah. on the longevity platinum trips usually is this uh, idea of gene therapies using these, basically these molecular robots, the adeno-associated viruses, mm -hmm. and where you can target your virus towards particular tissues. Well, that's what we do. We have a domesticated virus, the AAV, which is already used and approved by the FDA. Our system's a little bit more advanced, the one that we co-developed with George. Um, and that is, it's a two-part system where you need both, both, both parts, but it's also inducible. So right now, as far as I'm aware, nobody else is developing a product for, uh, in the clinic that is, has an on-off switch. I think that's important for two reasons to, to make that happen, even though it's triply ex uh, expensive. It's can, I, can I just, when you're, as you're setting this up, you're saying we're gonna put these three genes, the OSK genes, yep. in all the cells of your body, but we're gonna to have to turn it on, otherwise it's inactive. 
It starts out off, correct. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we, we did in this paper in Nature and, in, and this new one in Cell, is that we have exquisite control over when these genes come on for safety reasons, but also because we now know, in the mice at least, you can reset multiple times. So that you'll have this treatment, your body will be filled with these genes, they'll be off, and when, if we get sick, or if we get injured, or if we get too old, we can take a course of an antibiotic for a couple of months and get reset every time. Or if we're in the emergency room, they give you an infusion of doxycycline, on come these repair genes, your nerves regrow, your spine regenerates, etc. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Um, you know, Tony and I were, were blessed to be able to provide you, you know, to give you, gift you a, a quarter million dollar donation for your lab. Um, where are you, what, if you had unlimited funding, which hopefully you will, you don't yet, uh, where would you be experimenting? Where would you be going next? Yeah, I, I would put a lot of effort in the next generation of age reversal technologies. Um, right now it's a gene therapy, which means it's, it's going to be expensive and hard to uh, fulfill our dreams of changing humanity. That said, um, what we want to do is we want to turn those gene therapies into a pill. Uh, and so you can take a course of a pill and get the same effect. Um, and that's, it's actually easier to distribute molecules than it is viruses. So. I would expand that group and screen millions of molecules for those ones that in combination could be taken. Um, either you could have a cosmetic company, you could have probably one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies. That's an area I think is super important to get ahead of.